Hey, Lee here, and welcome to the poll list for March 27, 2013, presented by LongboxRadio.com. Uh, it is a lovely spring day here in Winnipeg, as you can tell by the sun's rays smacking me in the face there. Hopefully everybody had as lovely a day as I did. Uh, anyways, preview book here for April. First thing I got from the comic book shop this week. We got Superman Unchained, a new series by Scott Snyder and Jim Lee on one side here. I thought this book was going to be called Man of Steel. Apparently I missed the memo where they changed the name. And in four years, four short years, uh, everybody who works on Superman is going to have to have the last name Snyder. So mark my words on that one. On the flip side here, we have what looks like The Flash at first uh, first glance. But it's actually Age of Ultron number 10 uh, AI right there. Not quite sure who that is, actually. Uh, but all the same, that's from Mark Wade um, and, and whatnot. Uh, so they actually do change up the writer later on. Now, that's something that Marvel did on um, uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, which, yeah, uh, I thought was terrible. You had certain really strong issues from certain writers that took it in a certain direction, and then you had someone else come in and do something completely different. It it doesn't work. I haven't seen it work yet, but maybe Mark Wade can change your mind because he is an excellent writer. Preview book, of course, always great to see, uh, you know, two months in advance, what trade paperbacks, comic books, toys, collectibles, shirts, DVDs, whatever, uh, are coming out somewhere near you. So uh, if you fancy yourself a comic book or a toy collector, definitely something you should probably check out. You get really excited about all the really expensive action figures you'll never probably buy. Anyways, IDW brings us Judge Dredd number five this week. Um, this book started around the time that the new Dredd movie came out on DVD, which was a fantastic movie. Um, and I can't recommend it enough. Very similar to a movie I watched earlier in the week, that particular week, which was The Raid Redemption. Um, kind of, you, you know, locked in a, in a cell block and just kicking ass. Anyway, uh, really, really actually dig this. I haven't really read Judge Dredd before, but I do enjoy the idea of the character. Not so much the Sylvester Stallone uh, movie. But yeah, new movie's great. Go check it out. Check out this book if you want to get into Judge Dredd because it's, uh, it's been rocking my socks. Morning Glories. Yeah, that's right. Image brings us uh, Morning Glories here. It's Nick Spencer as well, kind of a sideways cover there. I swore that issue 24 was going to be my last issue. Uh, it was the last one I was obligated to buy, rather. Uh, and then I read it, and it kind of le leaves us on a cliffhanger regarding Ike and some of that stuff. And I, so I'm like, oh, might as well buy the next issue. This is something this book does, though, and there's a few other books that do it. Have a cliffhanger, go into the next issue, and, and don't address it. Don't deal with those characters, uh, and don't show us what actually becomes. So we have to read another three issues before we find out the falling action of what happened. And if this book does that to me, I am actually done. 25 will be a nice round number to stop on for Morning Glories, and that'll be it. I swear to you. Um... So that's that. Moving over to Marvel Comics, we have Age of Ultron number three. Uh, I have not read any of these yet, but it's from Bendis, it's from Hitch. Uh, it has a digital edition there, uh, not a free copy as they used to call it. So look for that after the show. It's all yours, peoples. Uh, moving on, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. This is number one, a brand new book from Bendis and McNiven. There was a zero issue-ish uh, a couple weeks ago, which I still haven't read. Uh, but I'm definitely picking this up. The art looks amazing. Steve McNiven's awesome. Um, and Bendis, that dude's got so many plates in the air, it's ridiculous, but... Really, really cool. Also, a free copy for whoever gets it first at the end of the, uh, the show here. And uh, going three for three this week, Marvel, another free copy. This is Superior Spider-Man, uh, Age of Ultron tie-in. Uh, and they're not even beating around the bush anymore. It's just straight up at the bottom. It's Age of Ultron tie-in. Go for it. I'm um, looking forward to a Christos Gage who, you know, kind of have a love-hate relationship with. Mostly love, to his defense. Uh, and there it is. So, that was my pull list for the week. Kind of a short, short... Uh, I got five books, but uh, no, these three will have three digital copies at the end. We're gonna try to get a podcast out sometime soon. I, I the month slipped away. We did one at the beginning. And we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll do this every week. It's not a big deal, and it's been three weeks and it hasn't happened. So uh, we're gonna try our best. Anyways, have a great long weekend, everybody. Celebrating Easter, or spring, or whatever the heck you're doing, uh, hockey, whatever. Anyways, till next week. That's Lee signing out. for morning glories and that'll be it i swear to you um so that's that my chicken is here